At Team Stowe, we want to make the home buying process an enjoyable experience. Curtis, myself, and our entire team are here to help connect you with the best builders and realtors in the area so you can find the perfect time to make memories in. Contact us when you're ready to see how we can help. Your daily insight into the Ace and TJ Show. This is Ace and TJ Daily. So group therapy is going to take a slightly different look uh, this week. Now, every week at this time, we go to you and your issues and problems and try to find a solution with Ace and TJ's group therapy. But today, we're tackling a public issue, a public problem. And it all stems from last hour's edition of Now Trending. At the top of every hour, Riggins gives us some of the hottest trending topics and throws in some other fun things, like a tweet that he found that started this whole conversation. So, Riggins, what is the tweet that started this? Uh, it says, I think it would be really fun if the graduate with the lowest GPA, also gave a speech. The anti-valedictorian, if you will. And it got 40,000 retweets, almost half a million likes, 453,000 likes. It's it a funny a big, tweet. Yeah. It's a good tweet. That's what Twitter should be there for, to have fun with, throw things out, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, not for the sewer that he does most of the time. But <laughs> in the course of the conversation, I think TJ was the one that said he didn't, think that was a good idea because then you're rewarding someone for not uh, maybe applying themselves or doing yeah. their best. Yeah, because Riggins went on. He yeah. was saying how he thinks that would be great and all this stuff. and Because it would be more no. fun. It would yeah. make graduation more fun. Mm -hmm. And then Alexis chimed in that she thought it would make graduation more fun because it needs to be more fun. There needs to be more fun about graduation. TJ and I pointed out that graduation is not there to be a fun occasion. It is to be enjoyed, but it serves a purpose. It is not to be a somber occasion, but it is to be a formal occasion. Yeah, that's why it's called graduation ceremony. It's not called graduation hoedown. <laughs> well. <laughs> graduation um, uh, clogging competition or graduation party. It's called a graduation ceremony, commencement ceremony. And so, of course, the first few comments that came in were how old Ace and TJ sound because they're against people dancing across the stage. I, at a graduation ceremony, I am against any type of what you might call, what my mom would call showing out. Whether it's people in the stands cheering, ringing bells, standing up to scream and yell for someone or somebody dancing across the stage or stopping to skip or <laughs> whatever they might be doing. You can't even skip. You, no, you can't. No, don't be skipping. Skip. No, you can't be skipping. Better walk in a straight line. Don't even breathe. Exactly. exactly. That's what it's for. It's for you to be, <laughs> it's for you to behave. Yeah. Oh. That's what it's for. It's for the it's for the graduation people and the students and the people watching, parents, families, whatever, to behave. There are rules in a civil society that we have to follow sometimes that may not be fun. And this is one of them. Now, if you don't if you don't want to sit there and, and go through the formalities of it, don't go. Stay at home. Skip across the living room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go anywhere else. But again, and what go to, happened? Go to pizza, go to Chuck E. Cheese, somebody, hand out a diploma. Somebody oh. DM'd us on Facebook and said, and here's what happens, because they missed hearing their child's name called because the people in the stands, when the person in front of them went, were up throwing a fit and, oh, 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 you know, go Bobby, whatever they were doing. They said they were yelling, <laughs> and they didn't get to hear their child's name called as their child walked across the stage. Mm -hmm. Now, that's jacked up, because you made yourself more important than everybody else in there. So, today's group therapy, we're just going to settle it. Now, how do we word this to make sure it's fair and not slanted in some fashion? Just say, hey, do you believe that a graduation ceremony should be dedicated to um, sophisticated people or delinquents? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was typing that out as he said, oh, my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> you either go with the delinquents or the sophisticated so people. Dramatic. I don't know how you spell delinquent. <laughs> is there a Q in there somewhere? There is. Okay. 
No, it's, the, it's just an easy question. Sophisticated or not? Are you sophisticated or not? And that's the way it goes. Are you, do you do you uh, favor a civil society or anarchy? Oh. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> No, don't really put that. Do you think a graduation? I, this is what I got. Do you think a graduation ceremony? That's what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Help me finish the rest of this. What is the rest of the question? Should it be fun or boring to the point where you fall asleep? Should be formal or um, full of hijinks. <laughs> hijinks. <laughs> hijinks is a word you don't use enough, right? Should be a, a, in there. Should be a formal or. Um, Festive. That was that fair. That, yeah, that's a good word. But the people who who would not want it to be formal may not know what festive means. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so you got to be on the simple end of that. A Ford Festiva. Is that is that a good way to phrase it, Ace? Or yeah, no? is there a better is way? Close enough. I, I, I don't. Or just um, put something like. Geez. Or a party. Should it be formal or yeah? Because it begins to get too long as you're dancing. Is it bad to be dancing, joking, being yeah. happy? <laughs> okay, and then just for uh, clarification, the definition of ceremony, the formal activities conducted on some solemn or important public or state occasion. Yeah. So it's supposed to be formal because it's called a ceremony. TJ just That's delivered the, the knockout blow. That was a two piece of a business. Definition of the word. Yeah. That. Yep. So, I'm curious to see if there if this breaks based upon age. Yeah, it will. Uh, well, and it'll 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 clearly be um, it'll break among um, sophistication and culture. Oh my god. That's the way the break will be, and it doesn't matter because you know the majority of our listeners, Ace, are probably along you know the lines of the ages of. Um, these hooligans in here. <laughs> so you and I will probably be made fun of as being old and out of touch and all of that stuff. But we come from a time when crime wasn't as bad as what it is now. So I'd rather be out of touch at a formal graduation ceremony than doing backflips on the football field with my cap and gown and hearing a bunch of parents, a.k.a. best friends of the kid cheer them on when they're not supposed to so the survey really doesn't matter to me what anybody else thinks you've already made up your mind yeah well yeah because uh i rarely will say this but i'm right oh <laughs> <laughs> the poll is up on our social media right now yeah okay so you go check it out uh, at the Ace TJ Show on Twitter, on Facebook, it's the Ace and TJ Show, and uh, let us know what you think. For all things Ace and TJ, subscribe to the Ace and TJ YouTube channel. What's share funny? It's a show from TJ that's funny enough to share on social media. Hear share funny live from nine to ten Eastern, eight to nine Central each weekday morning on the Ace and TJ button. Available on our app and now on iHeartRadio.